YouTube. It's Jeb Blackburn, aka Bullerat66. Anybody who would see me gaming, uh, it would always be a Bullerat66 or something like that. But Jeb Blackburn is what I am on uh, YouTube and SL as well. And the reason why I go by Jeb Blackburn is because they wouldn't have used Bullerat66 alone for YouTube. So now you see why I am Jeb Blackburn on YouTube, because that's my second life name. This here is my wife in the game, and hopefully will be at some point in real life, Sassy One Fizzle. This is Second Life. If you've never heard of it, or if you just heard of it and never saw it, this is what it is. This is our sim. It's a breedable sim. And we have monkeys. Breedable monkeys. We've also had horses and jingjings, which is kind of a funny little thing. Looks like a mogwai from Gremlins. And all kinds of different things that we have bred into uh, the breeding stuff here in Second Life. There's a lot of things you can do in this game. Um, a lot of people usually start by going to clubs because that's just kind of a fun thing to do. I'll try to get these annoying IMs to stop, hopefully. From groups and stuff, I don't want to have it sitting there flashing the whole time this is going on. But yeah, this is Second Light. This is our breedable sim. There's a lot of places to go here in SL. Um, besides clubs, they've got different attractions and uh, we also do a lot of charity stuff here in Second Life as well because all of the money that is in the game, they call them Lendons on here, but every bit of it was paid for by somebody somewhere in the world. So all that money can also be turned in for money as well. So we, we do fundraisers usually for stuff like Relay for Life and you know breast cancer awareness and stuff like that. And all that money gets turned into real money and actually gets sent to those charities. And it's, it's a pretty good thing. I, I believe for Relay for Life, I think it's up around, uh, I want to say, about 8 million Lindens total over the duration of Relay for Life for the last five years. I'd hate to say what that breaks down to in dollars because I couldn't even venture a guess. But it's really, really good. Yep, she just, Sassy just confirmed that. It's over 8 million in Lindens already. Been doing this for quite a while here. I've been in it. Let me go ahead and show you my profile and see what date. I started this back in 2008. Uh, actually started in 2007 with my first avatar. Uh, I believe it was in November, so about four months before this actually shows in February of 2008. I had another avatar before this. So I've been here for quite a while. It's, uh, what, five years? over five years, about five and a half years now, so been doing it for a long, long time and there's just so much to do. There's no way that in that five and a half years I have seen everything in SL because it's just too crazy. Let me show you the map. Hopefully this will come up and you'll be able to see. So far I am not seeing it show up on the map at all. But you see a little square here, and that is the sim that we're standing on. That's the sim that I own, and it's, not, it's just not going to come up. And usually it could pan out and show you all kinds of stuff, but it's not working for some reason. For sure, the one time that I want to show it, it's not going to work. But there is thousands upon thousands of these sims. This is just the one that we own. And there's just, there's, now you can see ours, so let's see if it's going to, they're all going to show up. They're starting to, little by little. But this is our sim, there's, shows you how many avatars are on it and everything, and the basic layout of the sim. Let's see if a bunch of these other ones will show up. I know that there's one attached to ours that's not showing up unless they moved it. 
but of these other ones that are around here, I'm not seeing the one that was right attached to us. But as I pan out, you can see that there's a whole lot more of them. They just keep getting more and more showing up. And all these green dots on here are people. These are people somewhere in the world that is playing the game. Huge concentration of them over there in that section. That must be mainland over there. And the farther I pan out, the more you see. Those are all people here in Second Life. I don't recall how many it said is actually playing the game at the moment, but there's usually anywhere from 30 to 60,000 people on at any given time. I think the average is probably around 60,000 that is normally on. And it doesn't matter what time of day or night because you got people that come in after people from the United States would go to bed. I mean, there's other people coming in from Germany and Europe, you know, and all over Europe that will come in and play as well. And they've got, of course, their own times, and we've got our own times, and just the way it works. But that's how big the grid is right there. That's all the people that's in there. I really want to kind of hone in on where all those concentration of people are and see what kind of sims those are. Let me see. Yeah, I cannot tell from looking at the names of them if they're mainland or not. You can tell which ones are owned, all owned by the same people because they would be named pretty close to each other. Actually, I don't know that any of this is mainland because normally mainland is a bunch of sims grouped together, actually attached, and everything I am seeing is not fully attached. These are all checkerboarded or spaced out, so I'm not think, thinking it's showing mainland anywhere on here for some reason, unless that's the areas that is not showing up. But anyway, that's, that is the grid, and it actually goes beyond what you see there. It's, there's little, little islands here that are coming up that you don't see when I'm panned all the way out, and that's pretty much the way it works all over. You see, I mean, there's places if I zoom in where it wasn't showing any, they're starting to show up now. So. It is huge. No way that anybody could ever hit every sim in the game. It's just totally impossible. Some of the things that we do here. When I first came in, I started out as a dancer because that was the easiest way to make money. Actually, my very first Linden I made, I can even tell you exactly how much it was. It was 50 Lindens. I made that in a contest. I took third place in that contest, first place in my second contest. The very first contest was a just a come as you are, and I looked like a noob. In fact, I can show you what one of the brand new looks look, looks like at some point, maybe in the next video. I'll show you a brand new avatar that uh, has that had any changes. And trust me, you don't want to ever keep the brand new avatars. The ones you see here, let me go ahead and turn around. This is me. I had to pay for this skin and shape and everything. And sassies, I guarantee you, you will fi not find a noob that looks that beautiful anywhere. Nowhere to be found in SL are you going to find a brand new character that you get from Second Life. They all look like dorks. And we have what they call AO, it's Animation Overriders, which makes you not look like a dork when you're trying to walk or, or anything, or just stand there. you got to have an AO, otherwise you just don't look natural. I'll probably make more videos and we'll uh, maybe I'll make one when we go out and go to a club sometime and you can see how things are. Now, I used to be a DJ in here so I've been to a lot of the clubs here in Second Life. I don't do so much of the DJing anymore. I started just being a DJ on Sassy's radio that she had. 
because we did that for horse races and stuff, and uh, we kind of got into that as well, or out of that as well. We've gotten out of a lot of things that we had gotten into. We've been in a bunch of breedables that we've just kind of let go by the wayside because uh, when the breedables come out, they're hot for a while and then they just kind of kind of die off. Uh, one of the biggest that was ever in Second Life was an Amaretto horse. And there was a lot of money to be made in the Amaretto horses until they just started dying out and they started doing stupid stuff with them and they just looks like My Little Ponies anymore. I mean, if I want to see My Little Ponies, I guess I'd just turn the cartoon on, but I never was into that myself. This is just a little idea what Second Life is all about. Um, you can walk around and check everything out. You can fly around. We fly, well, Sassy flies more than I do, but we fly around all the time. Quickest way to get from anywhere, and you teleport. I've got in my inventory, my vast inventory of 34,000 items, got landmarks to go anywhere you want to go and when you click on double click on any of these it'll take you right where you want to be and it just teleports you there now that's something I wish we had in real life because I would teleport teleport myself right onto Sassy's lap right here in our living room I think she'd like that maybe not <laughs> all of a sudden have a 300 pound man sitting on her lap just all of a sudden, I don't know if she'd be able to handle that. But this is just your first glimpse of Second Life. Uh, I had to use the Imprudence viewer because the, my normal viewer, which is like the best viewer ever, called Phoenix, they don't support it anymore. So, yeah, if, they, if I ever end up having to uh, reboot my computer back to factory or anything, I don't think I'll be able to get the Phoenix viewer again. It just, you can't get it no more. And it's a shame because it is the best viewer there is. I think Imprudence here, which is what I'm using now, it's less laggy. I was lagging too much to use the Phoenix viewer to show you this. The uh, Imprudence is a lot less lag. I used this for racing back when I was horse racing because of the fact that there was less lag. And I did a lot of winning. I made a, made a few coins on that. But... Uh, if you ever want to check out Second Life, the initial viewer you get from them, in my opinion, is crap. I always want to get a second party viewer, or they call it a third party viewer, actually. Yeah, Imprudence is a good one. Seems how you can't get Phoenix anymore. Imprudence is probably the closest to Phoenix that you're going to get. The problem with Imprudence is you cannot see mesh, and they're going to mesh a lot. And I wish Imprudence would come out with a new version that can see mesh, but they just not, don't seem to be doing it. Phoenix, you can see mesh. The, the Second Life viewer, you can see mesh. And I think there's another one that I just cannot think of the name of it. Well, Phoenix also has a thing called Firestorm. You can still get Firestorm, but it looks so much like the original SL viewer, but it do, it also works halfway okay, and you can change it to the way that you want to have your viewer, but I like Imprudence, except for you can't see mesh. Now, it's not so bad when you got people wearing mesh clothing and they don't use the alphas because then it looks like they're naked, but that's, then you can laugh at them and they're wondering why you're laughing. And it's because you think they're naked when they're not. Otherwise, if they're wearing alphas, it just looks like part of their body's missing, and it just looks weird. So, if you're going to use Imprudence, you got to kind of think, remember that. I would suggest Firestorm if you're going to get into it, just to check it out. It is totally free. You don't have to put money in the game unless you want to. I do it so that we have this sim and we can feed our breedables and stuff like that but you don't have to ever spend a dime in Second Life as long as you come in check out what you can do you know you can get jobs I mean, there's a lo even real estate type places that that rent these sims out if you can get with one of them and and they'll pay you to look over some of their sims and to to basically be a 
a manager of some of their sims because some of them have so many sims they can't keep track of all of them by themselves there's no way they couldn't even visit all of them in a day when i first heard of second life there was something about kind of a 2020 type program that was doing a story on a woman that went from being a bag lady to being a pretty much a millionaire from this game alone and that's because she got into it when it was pretty much first started. She would go to the library. I don't know very many bag ladies that actually go to libraries, but she'd go to the library and she would play the game for an hour at a time because at a library all you get is an hour at a time. She started off, she was dancing in a club. Her, you know, she, her avatar was dancing in a club, making a little money that way. She made enough money to buy a store. She started building things in the game, which you can sell. She started get doing real good at selling stuff. Once she got to doing doing that, she was starting to make enough money that she could buy a sim. Now, once you are able to buy a sim and you can rent that out, you can actually make extra money over, above what you're going to be paying Linden Labs for the maintenance on these sims. You can make that extra money, and then I figured it up. If you went the bottom line of what you can charge for renting a sim out, and what you're paying Second Life to do maintenance, I figured it out. Bottom line, if you want your the lowest amount, you'll make two hundred dollars U.S. money a month. It's a, it's something like a thousand dollars to get a sim. You can actually get them cheaper if you get them people that are, are going to lose their sim. SL usually like once a year will have a deal where you take over it just by start to start making the maintenance payments. That way they don't have to get rid of the sim completely. Then you know, they just let somebody else take over the maintenance on it. That's the cheapest way to get them. But if you're going to go ahead and buy a sim, say it's $1,000, and you're making $200 a month extra on the one sim that you bought, in five months you have enough money to buy another sim. Five months later, off those two sims, as long as you've got them completely rented out, now you've got enough to buy two more sims and you just double it every five months so within about two years as long as everything is going well you're going to have yourself a lot of sims last i knew when i came in here five and a half years ago i did meet that woman it was in that uh i don't know if it, for sure that it was 2020 but she was on that program explaining what she did and how she went from being living on the streets to having a very very nice house and never have money worries again she had 35 sims at that time and it was still building she was still constantly just adding more and more to what she had so I would say she's probably she might be close to 100 sims by now I really have no clue but she's got a really good business going on here in Second Life making that money and uh, there's a lot of people could can't believe it. Here's a free game, totally free. You never have to put a penny into it. And if you do things right, you can make money on it. People think, oh, it's just a game. Well, some people have quit their jobs in real life and making nothing but money that they make off of Second Life. Yes, it was much easier to do if you got in on it when it first started. And we never know what's going to happen. But as long as Linden Labs is still making money I'm sure they're going to always be around it's there's so many people that are getting into it still there's a lot of old timers here hopefully you all enjoy it uh, if, at least try it once if you don't like it you can always just uninstall it off your computer it's no big deal but it's something to check out there's lots of things to look at lots of things to see and if if you don't like it, like I said, just take it off your computer. I'm going to go ahead and stop that here. I may do another one if we are going to do something different or anything like that. I'll do another video and show you a little bit more that you can do here in Second Life. But I just wanted to give people an idea what Second Life is all about, just in case you've heard of it, but you've never seen it. Now you've got a little bit of a glimpse of it. Maybe we'll uh, go to a horse race or something sometime and you can see what goes on at horse races or 
just little stuff like that. But I'm going to go ahead and stop here, and I hope you all enjoyed it. If you liked it, go ahead and click on like. If you think you might want to see later videos, go ahead and subscribe, and I will see you later, YouTube.